Hi there, this is Josh and Ghostly A3W and today we're going to show you a quick, easy and inexpensive way to get your cheap car amp to output the watts printed on the box. So Ghostly A3W, what are we doing today? We are testing a Planet Audio AC 1500.1M at 4 ohms, 2 ohms and 1 ohm. And what is the objective of that? To measure the output of the watts. Alright, so how are we going to do this? is we're going to play a 40 hertz tone, sine wave tone, bring the amp up to clipping, and then measure its voltage. Ohm's law states that to get the, the, the output watts, we have to take the voltage squared and divide it by resistance. So whatever voltage we get is divided by the output resistance of the speakers. And to measure that, we're going to take the voltmeter, place it directly on the speaker leads from the amplifier. Okay, so I'm going to show you the test bench that we've got set up here so that you understand how we're doing these tests. At the heart of it and providing all of the juice for the setup is a mean well, a 600 watt 12 volt power supply. Uh, now it go, it's currently set at about 13.9 13 13 volts on the output rails. Um, you know, you've got your AC in right there and you've got your DC out right there. It's got six terminals and I've got that wired up to some 16 gauge monster cable. Uh, oxygen free copper. It's not that copper clad garbage. Copper clad aluminum garbage and it comes into the amp right there. And then powering the signal to the amp is a Pioneer DEH 6400BT, just a relatively inexpensive unit, uh, but it does the job nicely. And then the speaker we're using to test is uh, actually a subwoofer that came out of my car a while back. And the reason we're using it is because it's, because it's such a light cone and a light spider on it, it's really easy to hear whenever the amp starts to distort. Ghostly A3W, plug me up. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and tell it to uh, skip through all the demo stuff here. We're going to turn it on and have on this USB drive the file we need. Alright, so it's actually playing a one kilohertz tone right now. So I'm going to skip to the 40 kilohertz tone now. Alright, there it is. Turn it up. So right there you can hear, I don't know if you can or not, when you go from 51 to 52, is whenever it starts to do clipping. Right, you may or may not be able to see that properly on the screen or hear it properly. I'm going to get it closer. As soon as I turn up one notch, DEH6400BT is the highest that it goes without clipping. So 53 is clipping, 52 is not clipping. So now what we have to do is measure the output voltage on the speaker terminal of the Planet Audio amplifier. Set it for AC volts on our voltmeter. I'm going to see what the voltage comes out to be. It's 17.8, excuse me, 17, 17.9 volts. So we know at one ohm, this Planet Audio amp, this Planet Audio AC 1500.1M, is capable of 17.9 volts at one ohm of output. Using Ohm's law, we know to get the watts, we need to take the volts 
which is 17.9 squared divided by the resistance, which is 1 ohm. So our formula here is going to be P equals 17.9 squared over 1. Get our handy dandy calculator out here. So 17.9 squared is 32041 over 100. Now that makes no sense. So if we take that, it's 320.41. So 320.4 watts. At 1 ohm. We're going to record that. <laughs> Not looking too good, is it? And now we're going to take our measurement at 2 ohms with the 40 hertz tone at volume level 52. Push our measurements on the speaker terminals. See, we're getting 17.8, 17.9 volts. Same with the other test. You may have noticed that the voltage for 2 ohm was the same as 1 ohm. That may be the same voltage, but the wattage is going to change because of our formula. So, the voltage is the same, 17.9 squared, but instead of dividing it by 1, we're going to be divided by 2, 2 being the number of ohms in the circuit. 17.9 squared divided by 2 is equal to 160.205, so 160.21 for the sake of rounding. P is equal to 160.21. Okay, final test. 4 ohms. And I'd crank it up to the 52 mark, at which point the amp goes into clipping. Actually, at this point, at the 4 ohm load, it seems it doesn't go into clipping until volume 54. So we'll leave it at 53. Now we'll go to head, go ahead and go measure. In this case, it's a little higher at 4 ohms, 20.2 volts. Alright, so we got 20.2 volts on the 4 ohm test. Now it's higher than the other uh, ohm ratings, but when we do our calculations, we'll find out that voltage, when, when combined with your ohms, may not help you out any there. So, 20.2 squared divided by 4 well, I made a little typo there 4 is equal to 102.01 watts alright so 102.01 watts at 4 ohms so the final results of our tests at 2 ohms, Planet Audio claims this amp makes 1100 watts RMS with 1500 max. As you can see, we're not quite there. At 4 ohms, Planet Audio claims this amp will make 563 watts RMS. Again, not there, only 102 watts for 4 ohms. And at 1 ohm, Planet Audio doesn't provide a measurement, but we measured that this amp is capable of 320 watts at 1 ohm. So at the beginning of the video, we promised you that we were going to show you a quick, easy, and inexpensive way to get your cheap car amp to output the watts printed on the box. Well, now, is the, now is the moment of the reveal. Here it is. You can get this for less than a dollar. A Sharpie. Do the honors for me, would you, Caitlin? Yes, sir. Eh. Okay. All right. All you have to do is 
Sharpie out that last zero on the model number. Check it out. We're gonna just color that over. Mm-hmm. And that is how you get the output power that's on the box. Let's do it some more. Got it right here. Check it out. Scratch off the zeros on the end of those numbers. Right there. All right. Goodbye. There we go. That's how you get it. So what have we learned today at Ghostly A3W? You get what you pay for. That you do. Thanks everyone for watching. I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't. And we'll see you next time.